Ghana seems to be one of the peaceful places in Africa. And I come, I come from the coast. I'm just a coastal boy. And from Accra, there's, and there's a small, in the greater Accra region, there's a small town called Tema, a harbor city. That's where I come from. And I think about Ghana, okay, since the, the late, seven, uh, late 70s, we stopped tourism. So we have re, re, very little to do with uh, strangers uh, for some time. And I think since the uh, middle of or late uh, early 90s till now is growing again it's getting open again slowly so i think it's is growing you need that time to grow ghana actually was where the first first uh, western and african music began it was called uh, high life but Ghanaians seem to lose it somehow, somewhere along the line, when things with development and everything, they lost high life. And high life went to Nigeria, became juju music, and then it went to the Francophonic countries, Congo, Cameroon, they call it Sukus, and now it's been different things. When you go back to, when you go to Ghana now, they have mostly a lot of reggae stuff going on there, and they have also something new called hip life. And uh, the high life is still there. The old high life is still there, but it's not as strong as it used to be even when I was young. It was really strong. And now it's kind of like mishmash. And since the, the uh, politic and everything is finding its way slowly, the music, I think, is also finding its own way. <laughs> I used to work with my opa, my grandfather, and my dad. And also, my love for dance and music took me to that angle. School days, dancing for school and everything. But for some, since then, my development of my life took me away from that. And I want to learn more about the world, the Western music and sound. I mean, the music and dance, the Western culture. I fell in love with it. So, and now is the time of my life when the, bla the blend is getting stronger. So I think I can live the traditional. I just, I learn, try to make it better and try to learn the Western better. And in, in the middle is where I belong to, naturally. I feel myself more in the middle, not to the traditional or the Western, but uh, in the middle there, I feel myself stronger. <laughs> I feel good to hear that a fellow Ghanaian is uh, working hard somewhere. It inspires me that from where I come from, some of them, some of the people can also be somewhere in the world and get to that point. It makes me happy to hear that and it inspires me too. <laughs> Like I said before, my dream never changed. It just gets better as I grow. To see people happy together, doesn't matter the color or the nation or whatever, just happy together, dancing, doing whatever. Just to see happy people, that is my dream. And that's what I work for. That's what I live for. <laughs>